and uh, say that uh, matches need to happen on time. Yeah, that's probably uh, that's probably a fair a fair ask. <laughs> oh, I still, you know, I, I'll just repeat it. I still think you know I agree with uh, with Lurpus. You know, I, I think that you should be able to sit down and in five minutes you're ready to go if you're a pro. Like you should sit down, have your config good, your setup good, adjust the chair and get into it. Right? Should just be one of the requirements. Uh, you know, you have like a boot camp just to learn how to do that as a pro. Well, here we go. They are ready. Where is the player something else? I'm not sure, but we're going to get into it now. Mouse versus Ents at a best of three with Mouse starting on the CT side. Ents on the T side. We're on Mirage to begin with. It's four people down middle with a single guy lurking outside of the B-bomb site. That's Spinks over there. And, ooh, they're going to make the jump. Frozen? He's going to get a headshot. They lose Robs in the meantime. Dexter is back here, and it's a bit of a shooting gallery. He, he could just take a long time. He's going to drop Dodo. And now, Dimas, that is painful. He's down to three health. And it's a three on four, though, with a, a chance and actually a bomb plant coming through mm. for Ents here. This is it. Snappy, he's got the murder uh, hole position. Going to spot it. He should be up in a position to snag that kill every time. It should be 100%. Gets traded immediately by Frozen. Nicely done, Frozen. Pady's going to rotate over, trying to trade that kill as fast as possible. And now he's kind of caught in a trap. Really, really unfortunate. Aiko will take down Hades. And Diha on his own, one versus three back here with the Glock. They have no kit picked up, so they need to be swift with it. And they're going to find him pretty quickly. He's almost... Oh! One more bullet left, and that's going to be the triple. Absolutely stunning. I was going to say, he was missing a lot of shots, running out of bullets, but he had just one more left. That's pretty wild. If you can put your, yourself in a position to take duels like that one at a time with the Glock close, close quarters, that's what's going to happen. It's at range that the USPs have the advantage, where it's not a one-shot headshot for the Glock, but it is for the USPs. Up close, the Glock got 20 bullets, and he can just spray all day. It feels like this guy is just going to be able to take these fights over and over again forever. <laughs> I, it, he looks skeptical himself. He's like, oh, well, I, you know, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't a sure thing, but uh, you know what? You're welcome, guys. That is crazy. What a way to start a match. Ents going to be excited about that one. But let's see if they can uh, survive the following round here. We've got five deagles in play, which... On the map, like Mirage, yeah, you can have some trouble. We've we've seen it before. So the key is try and set up in some positions, trade. Don't get into long, extended fights at range. If you can, try and close the gap ASAP. Just like that. Dodo and Hades each. Picking up a kill, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Finding a way to thread that needle straight up onto the bomb site. Although Bimas is kind of lurking here, as you can see on Palace, he's just waiting patiently. But they have to know he's the A anchor. They have to know that he's around here somewhere. And so you can see already, Snappy. Yeah, he was pushing ramp, get that info into T spawn, and I believe Diha was keeping an eye on Palace. So element of surprise is lost for Bimas. In the meantime, though, this could be fun. Spinks is out on a flank in B Apartments. He may still... Yep. <laughs> he may still catch Dexter, and he does, sure enough. BMS going to get the punish, though, on Snappy, who feels like it's a good idea to hunt. But with a MAC-10, yeah, sure, who cares, whatever. It's just a MAC-10. If he loses that, it's not the end of the world. If one of these rifles gets donated to BMS, then that would have been questionable. But Hades is able to get the kill, and it's a 2-0 situation now for Ents. They survive the second round for Sanders. Teams have been struggling with that a lot. Surviving that second round, it's been brutal so far, it feels like, this tournament. Yeah, nearly a kill on Hades there. That would have been great if he could have uh, not just got the MAC-10 kill, but also stolen the rifle. Would have been a good time. Going to be denied that, unfortunately. So third round is coming up. We've got some P250s, a couple of more Deagles in this round. Just, again, it, they're just tickets in a, in a lottery to try and get back into to the game maybe earlier than you otherwise could. And it's kind of, it is a cheap investment to try and go for. I don't really mind if people do it. Mm -hmm. The real test, obviously, will be the upcoming fourth round, where we'll see what mouse have got prepared. Acor has got a lot of money, so we can already tell that he's going to be picking up the AWP early on. And again, I think that's that should be one of the pillars of this team. Definitely not the only one, but um, yeah, I expect something out of him. We all do, don't we? Nice shot by Robs. Yeah, damn. Murder oh. goes both ways. Nicely done by Acor. Gets that lineup. Even with the USPs able to get the kill. This is kind of awkward. They're going to try and get the bomb down once again. And this time they will not be interrupted. Robs has shown up. Stolen the Mac 10. He's inside of the smoke now. 
Question of timing. If they had a flashbang, it'd be so good right now just to pop in and have him jump out. But he sneaks through <laughs> and gets the kill on Spinks anyway. How did he know to look up there? Did he hear him jump? I'm not even sure. Now, it's... I mean, still probably a very winnable round here for Ents. Frozen with the headshot, though, straight taking him down. And now Hades on his own. One versus three, and they're going to find him. Oh, God. They go straight for it. And because the bomb plant was delayed by the earlier kill from Aco through the smoke, they're going to have enough time for the defuse. That is a ridiculous steal of a round out of Mouseport. Disastrous steal from Ents. I mean, Ents have got to be feeling very good about themselves for surviving that second round. But to lose against what is essentially just a, a couple of deagles in this round, that is agonizing. Yeah. yeah, you can see that's definitely calmed them down over there. Frustrating start because you know you know that you're setting yourself up for success if you can get that third round and then potentially the fourth. Whereas now you're just going to have to tap into your bank and you know that Maus are going to be fully equipped and there are all the nades. Even Acor has grenades. They're so rich because they'd almost put nothing into the round. They steal two AKs on top of it. It's just so, and then win the round, obviously. So yeah, such a lot of money on their side. Vimas, he'll get the one kill. There's some backup there. Actually, will be Rob's to get the assist, but yeah, double kill for Vimas. It's pretty good. Gonna try and use some nades to force him out of that shadow position, but it's a three on five. He can just stay alive. He just doesn't have to do anything else. Just don't go down. And this should be a very hard puzzle to solve. Missed shot there for Echo. He's down to one health. That's a bit uncharacteristic. That was actually what should have been a pretty easy kill there. Dodo will come through with a kill on Robs and Nade in the middle will land mm -hmm. at his back. That's going to be painful. That's a cool, stylish Nade. I like that one a lot. Yeah. All right. When they turn the X-ray off like that, for whatever reason, I thought he got the kill with the one tap. I thought he just insta gave them. It feels like that. Because the player disappears. Man, Bimas did everything this round. He used in charge of that last kill too there. Triple for him before he's finally down and out. So that's a lot to put on I mean, for the... This is a close round considering how it started. You trade two for nothing like that, you should be able to close it out. But Enz actually stayed pretty competitive throughout the round. Spinks now... It's hard to figure out what to do from here, right? He's kind of locked in. He's got the bomb at the very least. Maybe he could walk out and get a kill. But how does he put the bomb down with 20 seconds? It's just... It's a long way away still. Two flash grenades as well, so yeah. pretty unlikely. I mean, it's just unless he can get into exactly a plant open here, not plant for CT. It's a chance, and oh, the bait! Oh, he's done for. Yeah, gonna fake it out. He does get the shot on one of them, but he's out of time for it. Actually, needs to die pretty rapidly. Oh, he no scopes frozen on top. That is pretty impressive, and that will. I mean, they'll lose the round still, but he actually got way more out of that than I was expecting. Such an expensive round as well for both teams. You know, all that bank that we were talking about them saving up, that all just got spent in this round upcoming here. So very pricey stuff, but mouse sports are still going to be important or, or glad rather to be picking up that round. That's what matters at this point right now. It's just getting rounds on the board for mouse sports and not letting ends get too confident at the beginning of this series on the T side. If you can snuff out ends early on here and really control things, it bodes well for mouse. I feel like if mouse get a strong start in this series, well, it's the funny thing, right? I feel like both of these teams are kind of struggling with the confidence. So whoever gets the strong start could just run away with it, right? Could really just put that pressure and smother their opponents. And so I think I feel like that's where we really saw ends kind of get down on themselves when they lost to that force by. You could see they knew, oh man, we just lost the chance and now they get the chance to run away with it. Yeah, although, I mean, that previous round could rebuild some confidence for ends, right? Because... It was a pretty bad start to the round, losing two people up in the A apartments like that. But the fact that they made it that competitive, even in spite of everything, I feel like you feel like, all right, you know what? They might have stolen the round, but whatever. We can we can find our way back. Now they've got a couple of tech nines, a couple of deals, an AWP, and we're in the fifth round. They're sneaking around. They're not being given many challenges by the mouse side of things, which I guess is not that it's not that unexpected here. Mouse don't have a lot to gain by going and fighting them in the middle, so they're gonna have some map control. Just, you know, we keep uh, we keep specking Dodo, and I'm just thinking, you know, the Swoomy Hope. He's here. Only player. True. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it was once a, the Finnish team, right, Enz? And now we've got uh, uh, a Finnish coach and a Finnish player on the team, and now we get to see, can they get a round? Dexter down here. Just needs to avoid this one of those deagle headshots. Orp is coming in from Catwalk, though. 
Dia goes down. Snappy going to fall next. The AWP still not finding a kill. It's a bit of a chance there. Jojo did pick up a kill. That is a nice peek from Spinks. But Dexter is going to continue to click them away. It's a very smooth aiming coming out of Dexter for the triple here. And time will run out. So Hades is going to try and save the AWP. Keep it alive again. The nade will not kill him. But Bimas will. Wow. After the clock as well. No bonus money for him. He was trying to save it. And that is it. Not happening. Dominant stuff coming out here from Mouseports. It was looking like it was getting a little hairy there, but uh, they played it very carefully from the site, played the angles, and really tried to close them off so that they're not facing multiple people at the same time. If they're taking a duel, it's one on one. And while well, Mouseports have got the, f the firepower to win out those kinds of situations. So very nicely done by Mouseports keeping their cool. And now Ents are the ones who are going for a default kind of pistol spread. Everybody kind of spread out right now looking for headshots with these Deegs. Tech 9 on Snappy. He's looking to get a little bit more close and uh, personal with these guys. But that still doesn't change. We are going to have the bomb taking mid, and we could have uh, an A crunch eventually here. That is so unfortunate. I mean, I understand the idea of, of trying to save it, but it does put them in a, in a weird position now. And a, a huge opportunity right now for Mouse to really build a strong economy once again, in spite of everything. Rob's is going to get a kill, and yep, he's aware that he could just get peaked, so instead of just running away, he's kind of like backing up in a safe fashion. Snappy goes down next, and yeah, he'll play this game as much as he can get away with. It's a nice triple for Rob's. Now, he could probably leave alone. Just say, alright, someone else take over this position. I just need to live. He's padding those stats. Getting those eco kills. Feeling good about himself, Rob's. Still one of the top performers on the team, Ecos or not, regardless. Yeah, oh, no. without a doubt. Spinx going to get caught by Acor. Not going to miss that shot, Acor. Three kills for Acor so far, one assist. So now this is at four to two. It's been four rounds in a row. Now for Mouse Sports, they're starting to feel good. And this is going to be the big opportunity here for Ents after uh, the hero AWP that got them nothing. Now we get to see what they're going to be capable of with a full buy on the T side. They should have everything that they need. Spinx looking mildly amused. Yeah, big chance here. Hades with the deal. Again, that's that earlier death after the clock had run down. That kind of comes back to haunt him a little bit. So, I, I mean, it's a shame, but it's not probably what's going to make a big difference here. All, all they need, either he... Oh, well, it definitely doesn't make a difference now. What a shot on Robs. That was really well done. Acor missing a chance here that, he, again, those are the kind of shots you really need to hit. It's fun when you hit the, the flick shots that I, we all love, but um, but that one definitely just needs to be home right away. Dodo's going to be going down. Frozen and Dexter defending pretty well. Acor, one jumps down. He's trying to spot it, and he'll find Hades. That's a good kill. Now holding the angle on the one side, trying to make sure that no one's going to be crossing over. And, ooh, not a chance there. It's Frozen to take down DR instead, but Acor, he just gets lightning peaked there. Sphinx with the one kill. Bimas comes this word, but it's not enough. Sphinx will take him down. Fantastic triple on him. He's been playing so well. Brilliant work from Sphinx. Keeping his cool and coming through with a monster clutch for his team when they needed it. That is so good. If anybody has been looking on it, you know, you want to see that kind of half grin. That's the, that's good. It means the guy's just enjoying himself a little bit. He's not taking it too seriously. He's not getting in his head. And that's exactly what you need from one of your hard carries. So glad to see that move there from Spinks. What a clutch. And Enz desperately needed a round, I think, to, to show that uh, it's not a fluke. That it's not just a pistol round and that's it. You can't get any actually full buy rounds. They, I think they needed a real round to go their way. And now Mouseports are the ones who are going to be kind of, well, at least playing aggressive in mid. I really like that. Looking for a fight, but this is going to be on A. Yeah, and it's going to be quick as well. With Mouse unfrozen, those are some good opening frags. But Sphinx coming back into it, finding his eighth kill in the map so far. Dodo, he's going to swap around. A little bit scary when no one's holding CT spawn, but eventually they should find a way to reset it here. Robs, though, he's on a very quick flank. If they can just play together, I don't think Hades has heard it either. So he's no idea that someone's up there. Dodo is going to be found, and that's a problem. Ents, they need to play for time in this one, and that's not going to be possible any longer. Eventually, Robs is going to show up and should at least be able to get the one kill. And I don't know if there's a way back for Ents here. Obviously, they have kits on the other side too. Dexter will blow up Sphinx. It's just getting worse. Hades, I'd say run away. Yep. 
Yeah, especially now that they know where you are. You had a chance, perhaps, and well, once as soon as you lose the crossfire with your teammate alive on the side, that's it. It's going to be so difficult to hold at that point. Great HE into the back corner, just checking, making sure that uh, that is, you know, the noob spot or the ninja spot or whatever you want to call it, but uh, that is a spot that can be a real pain when it comes to diffusing. If you've got grenades, just yeet them back there and get rid of that guy. So really well done there. And uh, that was, uh, I like I like the change of pace from ends. They're showing a bit of variety. They're hitting B, they're hitting A. They're kind of showing that they're willing to go anywhere on the map, so they're not trying to fall into a predictable pattern. But now they've changed up timing as well, so it's not just waiting until the end of the clock. They've shown that they'll, they'll snap their fingers and actually try and hit early to give themselves some time to, man to maneuver with. So trying to be a little bit unpredictable here on ends, and I really like that. It makes it difficult to play on the CT side if that's the case. It looks like they're trying to do it again. Almost just a kind of a repeat. I, it makes me wonder if they've seen anything either in the last round or in some of their demos. I mean, right now we could do a massive lean towards the P-bomb side. Yeah. So maybe that's what they've been studying in Mouseboard's demos. They know sometimes they just play very light on the A-bomb side early in the round. So they want to hit that timing. They didn't get it last time because there was a big setup at the A-bomb side. But this time... They're not wrong. Can they get a quick bomb plant? If you do this and you don't get the quick plant, it doesn't really matter. I think there was a Molotov that slowed them down initially, but now it's going to be the plant. Everyone from Mouse Sports, though, has kind of shown up. So it's not that all of the opportunity is lost, but it could have been probably five seconds earlier. I'd like to see Dodo getting proactive, trying to get into a position where he can catch him flanking in. Dexter is going to be caught on the other side. These are really powerful post-plant positions. Mouseports are covering a lot of angles exactly, and they can play like rats in the smoke. Just finding shots on unsuspecting targets. Man advantage now for Enz. Yeah, this is going to be an almost impossible retake now. A Cole will get a good kill, but they need to think about the money themselves, Mouse. They don't have that much to throw away, so you want to be real careful here. Spinks and Dodo, two versus two now as they get the kill. And that bomb is so far ticked already. They're going to get a couple more, but it'll be too late to win the round. It's Ents to pick it up instead. Yeah, steal that AWP. That's a good idea, but I don't know that. I feel like even in the three on two... It's almost at the point where Mouse would have had to have cancelled that uh, mm -hmm. that attempted retake. Yeah, the post plant position when they don't know where one of the guys is, that's the main problem. He gets a kill for free on you. And so those are the kinds of snap decisions where you just need to feel it and you need to wonder, you need to know, do you have enough information to make the play happen or are you just going to try and make the bold play and go for it anyway? And well, Mouse Sports elected to go for the goal, for the bold play, those retakes are so tough if you don't have a man advantage going into it. And well, I, the other thing is, is that Ents weren't just waiting passively on the bomb site. They were giving themselves, they were pushing jungle, pushing connector. They were pushing to give themselves room to work with and also so that they had a way out. Instead of worrying about flanks and backstabs, they're like, right, okay, cool. We've cleared connector. We got control of mid. Good. Here's our way out. And now we can set up to hold the bomb site. So four rounds on the board now from the T side for Ents. And yet Mouse still somehow have enough money to buy. Double AWP as well here for Mouseport, so a change of strategy on the CT side as well. Leaving a whole pile of grenades there. Interested to see. It's going to be snappy to come pick them up, so... Yeah, they feel pretty confident about this A hit, and honestly, if they land the smoke walls down right, it'll isolate Frozen inside of the bomb site. Bermas will probably have to push out to help him, but... Even then, that's an isolated two-on-five fight that you're going to be having. I don't think the rest of them can really make it work. There's Frozen on his own. The smokes are not up. They're going to be very late, in fact, coming in from the CT side instead trying to create a little bit of a gap. Robs, he's going to get that shot on Snappy. It's not bad. And it is a 2-1-3, on once again favoring Mouse. They're going to find the kill. Would have been the Deagle or the M4 at that point in time. And Diha, what could he possibly do here? One versus three. Oh, it's so close. If he would have kept shooting, maybe he would have had it. He clutched the pistol round, but this is just a lot to ask for. And now he's been spotted, shot in the back by Bimas. That's a good hold. Triple kill from Bimas. And yeah, just a, a fantastic job for Mouse. Ooh, and they saved the second AWP as well. They managed to snag that one. Mouse Sports. That is a very strong bounce back and some good adjustments made. It looks like Ents just weren't expecting anybody to be playing CT because they've been smoking CT consistently on these A takes. So I'm guessing they're trying to condition Mouse Sports not to play there. And so they maybe didn't quite uh, give it as much attention as you would think. Didn't quite work out for him, though, as some good shots ring out from Mouse Sports, and they managed to just shut the door on Ents. And so once again, Ents are back to one of these weird buys where they just had enough money to get a hero AK on Dodo. And uh, the rest of the team forcing up on pistols and uh, nades. So, uh, okay, well, at least we're going to go for an explosive play onto Banana now. Not a rush play, but still just a delayed 
explosion out of B apartments onto the bomb site, and let's see, can they hold? Dexter delaying a bit, actually, maybe too much. He might get run down. Yeah, he's done. Frozen, though, Ooh. spinning left and right inside of the bomb site, and he's going to get a triple quad kill now. Pistols out. He wants to fight Hades as well. That could get exciting. I don't think he has any head armor, so the USP could kill him. And there it is, an ace in the 12th round to pick that one up. That is absolutely fantastic. Frozen on 15 kills, and yeah, they're all laughing. He is such a great bombsite anchor. We, ta we talked about it on yeah. Inferno and that B bombsite, and he's doing the same thing here. Doesn't matter which one you put him on. The guy just shines. But I, there's something so satisfying about the A1S. When you get into these quick moments where it's just constant spraying, it's just one of the most satisfying guns to watch, and you have such good aim with the A1S. Frozen, bam, gets it. Beautiful work from him. And oh, that is so unfortunate. It still gets a tag. <laughs> but uh, that was awkward. Just a bit. Hmm. 82. Two of them getting tagged down to... Uh, to did they both get liked? What was that? Something like that. A lot of people in the middle for the for the mouse side again. They really lied on the A-bomb side early on. I have to assume that that's part of what ends up been trying to punish over at the A-side. But not successfully enough. Mm. Even if they get in there, even if they get the bomb plant down, which obviously... That is kind of a feature of that A-bomb side of Mirage anyway, is that getting the bomb down is not necessarily the, the biggest problem. It's usually holding it afterwards. Some proactive right. play coming out here from Rops. That's the bomb as well. Oh, can see that gun barrel and uh, not going to be enough though, Dodo. Hey, wow, that's just a total cleanup. Demolition crew rolling in here for Mouse Sports. And Ents got to be packed off in pieces. This is 8 to 4 now on the CT side for Mouse Sports. Ents. All right, you've gone for the round of eco. You do not get the bomb plant, so that sucks. Bonus 800 would be nice right about now when you need to buy nades. Now we're going to see what they're capable of uh, purchasing here as the bot. All right, shows Frozen. He's the kill leader. I'm always curious which nickname is going to pop up. <laughs> they come up with something every time. Uh huh. Eight to four, 13th round here. And we've got an AWP back in the hands of Hades. Still feel like Sphinx is doing most of the work, which is fine for for a minute here, but it'd be good if he could get some more help at the top. He's up at 10 kills, so that's a pretty good uh, pretty good platform to build something on. Acor in the middle, waiting for the smoke to fade. Does see the opportunity. I'm actually making to jump across, that seems sketchy, but yeah. He's still alive. Definitely surprising to see him make it out of there intact without a single point of damage taken. That's crazy. Nice little peek for info there with the setup from Rob. Sees that nobody is lurking in Palace for now that he could spot. Doesn't mean that somebody isn't up there, though. They could pl be playing mega passive. Uh, we're going to get the full rotation over here from Ents towards that B-bomb site. Bomb is making its way up into B apartments. They still have access to underpass. They can rotate in. And in the meantime... Oh, are they going to change it up now that D has managed to make his way up from Connector? Yeah. Oh, but he gets spotted. Bimas, he can call it out. Otherwise... Either him or Robs could have been shot in the back here. Turning for it, though. Robs can't get his aim back in time. It's a pretty good kill for Bimas, though. He wants a double. Not going to happen. Acorn now coming into with the AWP. They could probably guess that he would have been there because they knew that he escaped back from middle. Uh, that got Molotov out earlier, so they. I don't think it's a surprise that he was there. Two versus four, and they're just going to save the guns here at the B bomb site. That's a very successful hit out of Ents. That also looked like it was so well built from the start, how they cleared out the middle, how they cleared out connector, and just walked up to the A bomb site. Yeah, that was some, I think that was just adjusting based off of what Maus were giving them to work with. I don't think Ents expected to be able to just walk their way up a connector the way that they did. And that opened all of the options up. Poor Rops, though, in a position where he was worried about somebody pushing up ramp. So you could see he's just like, which way do I look when that flash comes through? Is it ramp? Is it uh, yeah? Is it towards stairs? And he just gets caught. So tough break there for Rops. He's continuing to, uh, I mean, he's doing good work. He's got 10 kills right now. But of course, you know, Rops, he sets the, he sets the bar so high. It's almost unreasonable now, the expectations where you're just, you know, if he's not just utterly dominating, you're, you're sitting there going, well, come on, Rops. You know, like poking him with the stick, like, do something. Come on. Do something more. Yeah. Um, that that was um, a much, much needed round. Brings it back. Nice. Playing with the camera. We like it. Get some get some flirting going on. <laughs> 14th round. And um, it's... Uh, I think the fact that the fact that it's 8 to 5 means 
ends are at least sort of competitive ones again, it'd be really, really good for them if they could get up to six, I feel like. Then then it's sort of we're looking a little bit more reasonable. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you can do a, you can do a lot from here, so that's nice to see. Snappy's pretty far behind. He's got three kills. Probably um, could expect a, a bit more out of him. Usually not that bad when it comes to the to the frags himself. Mm-hmm. Well, time out called. A little bit of a pause, a little bit of a moment to uh, get focused up. Yeah, reflect on the situation for a minute. I is I this a tech timeout now? This is going quite a bit. I don't know. If Snappy's talking though, it makes me think that we're going to be live. And yeah, all right, we're live. Players can't communicate during a tech timeout. It's only during a tactical that they can talk. True, indeed. Yeah, D has been responsible for some some good kills all on his own. So, oh, that is a nice jump from A core, but he misses the shot. The kind of movement though is, uh, you know, is kind of Don't what he's well it, known Andrews. for. <laughs> it's what he does. Yeah, but he should be getting shots instead of having slick movement. He's aiming for both, you know. He wants to wants to do it all. Slick movement is cool and all, but you need to get kills. If the, if the movement is good enough, somewhere, I'm fine. With You're it. fine with it? Yeah. All right, let's go do KZ. <laughs> I know. If there's ever a KZ World Championship, we'll put Acor in there. It's going to be sick. All right, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be well enough. Nice angle there, though. That's going to be interesting. Because now, however, I don't think they're going to expect Ropsy. Exactly. Not expecting Rops and Rops with two kills. That turns the situation completely on its head. Ends now. Look at where the bomb is. Oh, what do you do? You've got a minute left to maneuver with. He's got time to run up there. That's not really the issue. The issue is the distance you have to cover. And actually, is it possible that Dexter will find the bomb before Spinx does? It's kind of in that weird cubby, so... Does he check? Surely not. There should be no way. Oh, oh, did he see it? Oh, it doesn't matter. Robs will find the kill. Triple for him, and that is... That's a round that... You could tell they actually had the lead. They were actually winning that round, ends, but they just had no idea where Robs was. Huge. Devastating. Huge round. Yeah, devastating is right. And so frustrating, this turn of events for ends. They're going to have to force up no matter what in terms of the economic situation right now. I think that they'll have enough for a decent enough buy, but it's, uh, yeah, just a f just squeaking by, barely. Tech 9 on Snappy, couple of rifles, and an A-Rush. Okay, then, talk about a bold call. Straight out through the ramp, and they get gunned down. But I like the thought. I really think they've been they've been studying and watching and, 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 uh, and sort of have their eyes set on this. Because these kind of early A-Executes, they were in meta for, for Mirage, like, a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Right. And then people started kind of going away from it. I feel like that we didn't see nearly as much of it in the last, at least this year. I feel like it's been happening less and less. Been a lot more happening towards the B-bomb side and catwalk especially. But um, yeah, I think they've just been looking at demos and feel like mouse swords have these rounds. We've seen it even in this game, right? It's just you have to hit the, you, you have to hit the right round or it's not going to matter. Acorn, looking down the middle. They did lose rops in that exchange. Damas, can he get the pre-fire here? Walking inside of the smoke. That's scary. Yep. A gun up close and personal. And he'll take him down. Acor missing a shot there. There is a bit of a grenade being set up there. There's the kill on Dodo. And Snappy now on his own. Should not be a chance for him to win the round. He's running up close to try and close the distance here. And he'll fight Acor and win. That's interesting. I like that move from Snappy. He kind of knew that he couldn't stay in the middle forever. Now he's picked up an AWP of his own, but he can't hit the shot, and Dexter will take him down. 10 to 5 in the first half in favor of Mouse is a pretty good result. I'd say so. I'd say so, especially considering this is Ence's map pick. And I feel like these have been some some lackluster... This was a lackluster T half from Ents. I mean, uh, they had a couple of force spy wins with Deagles. You know, those aren't exactly rounds that you could really count on to get. It's just, it's great when it happens, but it's not something you expect. And then past that, it was just a real touch-and-go kind of situation here. So, Ents, I don't know if this is going to be one of those situations that really builds confidence, because this is your map pick, and it's looking like Mouse Sports are feeling pretty, uh, pretty good themselves on it. What was the... Uh... Off the top of my head, 57% win rate for Miles on this map right now. All right. Mm. That's Whereas right. it's an, it's nearly 90% across 13 maps for Ents in the last three months. Man, okay, that's not exactly the half you want on what could be your strongest map in the pool. No, picked by them as well, obviously. So you'd want to see them do a lot here in the second half. It's been 
been a real hard. Robbins on 14 kills, but Mars on 16, Frozen on 16. That's actually so ridiculous. That's really rare, and it's not like Acorn and Dexter are that far behind, but there just haven't been many kills left for them. When you look at the, the kills alone, you wouldn't think this was a 10-5. You, you Actually, this would look much more like a 12-3 type deal. So it's pretty impressive in some sense that ends are, are sticking around the way that they are. Smoked off. Is there a gap that he can see through with the USP? They're going to need it because there's only two people defending the A bomb site. Spinks trying to hold back at least one of them here. Dexter taking a fight with him, but Dodo, he needs some backup on his own. Are they going to go straight for the bomb plant? Yet yeah, they don't even check the bomb site. They just ignore all of it. They fall back towards connector and jungle. Robs with a kill. Acorg and Bimas are both down in the meantime. And actually, Robs and Frozen are the only ones left trying to fight it out. Oh, what a spin. Frozen, he is out of control. Comes back for a headshot. Taking down Spinks as well. This man is a god. Hades now on his own. I can't believe that he just did that. Triple on Frozen. He made it look so easy. Just skating around in jungle and taking every single one down. And Hades is going to fall next. Quad kill for Frozen. And an absolutely godlike pistol round. Another one coming up for Frozen. Another monster round when his team needs it. 20 kills, 4 assists on the board right now for Frozen. What a monster. And that is all just individual play, saving his team. He looks so nonchalant as well. He looks so casual, so calm. <laughs> but this is all on Frozen right now. Realizing he needed to take a fight. He needed to make a play. Pushing into Ence's defense. Not letting them initiate, but instead taking the fight to him. That's such a bold move, and you really love to see it if you're a Mouse fan. Yeah, it's only if you're a Mouse fan. That's really incredible. I mean, if, that should have been a lost round, right? Two versus four. Yeah. And he just, and it started out not, the, the initial fight that he had was really not that good. It took a long time for him to get the kill, but the follow-up was an instant one dink at, dink at range. Another thing here from Mouse, they go four rifles again. Stylistically, they really don't. They really do focus on these rifles, and so if you have a lot of players surviving this round, then you're only just rebuying up uh, grenades. Mac 10 is all fine and dandy, but mouse wars aren't here to mess around. Okay. Ooh, as I say that, of course, Snappy removes Frozen's head, so that's Frozen, the hero of the last round, out of the picture already. Does pick up Galil for his efforts. Dodo having a bit of an awkward fight here with the 570. He's got plenty of bullets, but the Galil, even more bullets that makes a difference. Diha hoping for a gap shot. They're not going to be able to hit the straight headshot. So again, bomb plant. See if they can get it while the smokes are still up. Well, that's just a good guess. And Dexter going to be upset about that one. Trying to plant the bomb. And he's expecting for someone to come running through. Faking it out a single time. Hades with the scout. That's actually not that bad. He could have gone down without nothing there. Two versus three this time around. Ooh, they're falling back. Did they? Nope. I don't think they realize he's going to catch one. Really wanted the double kill for that one, but he just never had the opportunity. Good way to try and maximize it. Acor's going to get the bomb plant, but it's on the other side. They don't have a kit, but still, if if Rob's die, sorry, if Acor dies here, Rob's is in a weird position where he has to sort of run back in and try and fight over the boxes, and that's not going to be that much fun. Acor, though, he has the health for it, and he goes for the fight. Now Spinks is on his own. Deagle in hand, looking for the kill on any one of them. There's a missed opportunity. There's the shot, but Acor, he'll survive with the Galil. Nice triple on him, and Mouse a little bit closer now. Four rounds away. Four rounds away from collecting the first map of the series, but also that was some very good communication on both sides. Rops played that impeccably. If you're wondering why he doesn't try and play a bit more aggressively there, why he doesn't try and push uh, into Connector, they have to constantly worry about him pushing behind them in Connector, which is why eventually they make up the mind to just try and kill the guy on the bomb site together while they're both still alive on ends. And so Rops staying alive there, that is just a monster flank. It wins his team the round. And now Mouse Sports, they've got a chance to farm up a little bit of money. Now they go for the double MAC-10 because they, it's not going to be a force buy here from Ents. It's a hard eco. And so, currently three, four players, although they are going to rotate a couple over towards B. This one Molotov is drawing quite a bit of attention from Ents. Yeah, and then the three-man explosion. That's five a beautiful seven, shot. That 5-7 is just so good. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely doing some work. We've seen it earlier in the tournament as well. Maybe maybe we'll have this will be the sort of the return of the 5-7 in a big way. Completely eclipsed by the P250 for a long time. Three versus four now. And you're right. Just a, a slight bit of pressure on the B bomb side. But in a round where you only have pistols, you're going to be incentivized to way overreact to that yeah. kind of thing. You're always going to do that. And that's not a fault of ends. It's just that's how the game is kind of played. So um, good move. 
Now the question is, can we find some more shots? That's, that's one of them right there. Hades taking down Frozen. But it doesn't change the fact that they're going to lose the round. Yeah, it's just both MAC-10s, so they don't even care. Yeah. It's uh, As far as ends are concerned, yeah, whatever, have those. We'll, we'll donate them to you at the end of the round anyways. Now, you don't want to lose one. That was risky. Losing one of the rifles, that would be a different story. Yeah. You want to hold on to the Glills and AKs for the next round. MAC-10s, though, who cares? They make you the money, and then you just discard them, and you upgrade. And so now, this is it. Pressure on, and they're not looking too amused. They're looking pretty... Uh, Pretty tense because this, I mean, they're on their map pick and they're currently just getting blasted. 13 to 5 buy from Ents, but again, because of the force buy in the prior round, they do just barely actually have a pretty decent nade count. Random op shots coming out, but oh, that's a nice one. D are catching Bimas. How does he get that kill? That is crazy. He was playing connector, and they made him mid there. The jump over, he must have tracked him mid-air. I'd actually love to see that replay. I think it was a perfectly timed flash as well that went over the top. That Just unfortunate for BMOS. I think he was flashed. And now Smoke coming in, blocking off Khan, giving uh, him a little bit more room to maneuver with there, BMOS. And in the meantime, Sphinx is going to try and post up on short, see if he can find anybody there. Little does he know, somebody is literally beneath his feet right now yeah force and the sneak it around a much much slower round out of mouse here taking it easy for a long time i mean again whenever you see this kind of thing it's safe to assume that they're they're hoping for uh for someone on the ct side to take a little bit of a peek that was a very light peek from diha i like i don't want them to do that really they need to just relax here they're really far behind they can make it back into the game you said earlier with a, a good a good map this one for ends so even at 13 5 just wait for that opening to come and then see if you can if you can restart the momentum frozen will take down diha though inside of the smoke dodo oh whoops did he see the gun barrel he just takes him right out 22 seconds on the clock hades is here though with the awb but he's going to be forced back does he want to challenge it this is a big risk snappy with the one kill there 14 seconds now, one versus two for Dexter, and he's gonna lose the fight to Snappy. Oh, nice turnaround for Ents in this round. That was almost out of control. And interesting that he decides to save that second AWP as well here for the CT side. So that's a big win as far as Snappy is concerned. Well, obviously every round matters for Ents right now, but if you can save both of those AWPs, that can set yourself up for a hard lockdown here on the CT side, and that can work to your advantage so we will barely be getting a buy again here for Ents. They get some, they get the rifles, they get the nades. The uh, ops are a little light on the nades because they dropped, but this is looking fairly good here for Ents. Now it's a question of whether or not they can just kind of get the ball rolling. And only the one player top mid right now that is Rops. Nice, nice HG onto BMAS and Frozen. But it's four players gathered up here for Mouse Sports wanting to just execute onto the B bomb site. With Rops in the middle, I wonder if he's going to want to make some some point of contact first. It's always risky if you do that because if the mid player is the point of contact and he dies, it's kind of it's kind of giving up the round in a big way. Yeah. But on the other hand, if you even if you just get spotted in here, that could be enough, right, to try and and, and move that defense a little bit away. There we go. Oh, what a click! He just he is so smooth. And I wonder if that's going to move anyone out of the B-bomb site. Not yet. They, in fact, have a big lean towards the B-bomb site still with Hades essentially playing the market. So, Mouse, they could be thinking, all right, they've had some time. Missed opportunity for Hades. What looked like it should have been an easy shot there. Spinks will pick up the master. And now they're jumping down. But again, there is a big defense going on at the site. They're falling back, though, a little bit. Robs, he's just, he's so crisp. Turning around to take down Deha. He just... Bursts it away, and now Hades and Spinks two versus four. Robs is such a scary player. <laughs> and he plays it so that there's no way to trade it. Hades, another missed chance. Just slow down, take the second, the extra split second necessary to line up that shot. You have to hit these kills. Robs is in with another flank, and Spinks, he's going to get one shot in, but that is it. Backing off already. He realizes walking into that post triangle is just not going to work. I mean, this is going to be disastrous as far as Ents' economy are concerned. Mouse sports are about to get up onto 14 rounds, and Ents, they're going to be in shambles. Yeah, that is just absolutely heartbreaking. They had a, a really tough first half. That second uh, half, at least in the rifle round, started to look like they could put something together, but it gets quickly cancelled as Mouse will find that 14th round. Spinks, he's going to be able to save the AWP at a minimum. It's really hard to... 
it's really hard to just t t deal with someone like Robs. What do you do at that range? He's just yeah. And when he's just constantly flanking you like this in the places you least expect it, there's Robs. And with his aim, you're just not allowed to make those mistakes. He's going to punish you. And right now, I mean, I think it's just some unforced errors coming out here on ends that are really hurting him. Just missed shots. And uh, you can't afford to have that. Not when a push is going on. If you can trade one for one on the CT side, fair enough. But if you're missing multiple shots with that AWP, you're really going to be kicking yourself. Because your whole role is to just at least get one kill with that op and make it worth it. Yeah. Spinks, though, I've got to give him some credit. He has been playing really well. 17 and 14. When you're this far behind, it's, yeah. so, it's so hard to do. But um, he's he's done it. Setting up for a regular type A execute here with the smokes going down towards jungle and presumably CT spawn as well. They only have AKs and that M4, but no AWP on the T side. So I don't know if they're going to be having trouble with Hades. The smoke should give them some relief, though. Nice shot from Dodo. He is immediately blown up, though. Double nade to take him out. And that should give them a fast bomb plant here. And again, the speed of the bomb plant really matters on this bomb site because it's so hard to hold. So... Five seconds earlier means the pressure is suddenly on ends. Yes. And now it's on them for the retake. MP9 moving on up. You're going to have Snappy trying to play around this smoke. As soon as it clears, he's hoping to be able to spot somebody a split second faster than them. At least get that info for his teammates. Frozen, though, has been spotted out. They know where he is, and they're going to try and punish him. Traded one for one, but Bimas once again coming up with the goods. Yeah, really good stuff. He was even ready just to try and spray that one down. Spinks, and I said, shot. How does he do it? He's solo on health, though, and Acor will be able to win the one versus two. Triple for Acor in this particular round. Seems like he's more effective right now with the AK than he is with the AWP. That's um, I mean, that's heartbreaking for uh, for Ants. I think they must have. They must have had high expectations for this particular map, but it's not been working out in their favor. It certainly hasn't. It just feels, again, this, this is how explosive it can be with these two teams, where it's that 50-50. It's whichever team just starts to get control of the situation. It's going to be so hard to wrest it away from them. And Bimas, man, double, big double from him to make it, to just get that lockdown going. Congratulations. And Acor, there you go. Missed a few shots earlier, but this time he comes up big, and Robs is going to catch Dodo trying to get clever around ramp already. The man advantage for Mouse Sports. Wow. This is such a dominant first uh, first map. I'm really shocked. Again, like we mentioned, just looking at the map, pick and selection, this, this should have been the map for Ents to really, really turn up, but they have not had much of a chance here. And it's not even the kills necessarily. Again, in, in terms of kills, they're actually keeping up pretty well. So it's just the fact that some of those early rounds, I think they had like three or four where they tried to execute into the A-bomb side of the first half, mm. and they were almost always the wrong rounds to do it in, which, which that can be almost a bit of a coin flip. That's really unfortunate. And then Mouse, they had you know, the, the incredible trio there of Rob, Spimas, and Frozen just doing everything. It, like the, That's so deadly. I don't know how you fight back against that. Bimas was holding down the B-bomb side of the first half and just absolutely unstoppable. Even Dexter's been playing well. He just hasn't had nearly as many fights, but a good double for him right there. Spinks on his own. One versus four, and he gets dropped. It's a 16 to 6 scoreline as Mouse will defeat Ents on their own map pick, and that's always difficult. Utterly brutal. And yeah, that is always difficult, and it makes you think, makes you wonder what's going to come up next because Vertigo will be the next map. That's going to be Mouse Sports' pick. It's a map, obviously, that they're comfortable on, and all of the pressure is going to be on Ents to fight to stay alive. It's a reminder for all of you out there that.